Let's take a look at the Form U-4. In order to register uh, with FINRA, uh, registered representatives uh, must complete the Form U-4. Now, the Form U-4 would be filed electronically with FINRA's CRD, which stands for Central Registration Depository, and this is required in order to register. What would be included on the Form U-4? The person's name, their address, any aliases, residential history for the, for the past five years, employment history for the past 10 years. Now, would a broker-dealer have to verify employment history? Yes, the most recent three years of employment history must be verified. Now, no verification of residential history is required. There are those that are statutorily disqualified. There are those who may not register with FINRA. There are those that may not be associated with a broker-dealer. Now, who may not be associated with a broker-dealer? Anyone who's been convicted of any felony in the past 10 years may not be associated. Any person who's been convicted of a misdemeanor in the past 10 years involving dishonesty or involving uh, the securities industry would be statutorily disqualified. Now, amendments to U-4 must be filed within 30 days. So you change your address, you change your name. Something happens, got to file an amendment within 30 days. But if something changes, and it has to do with statutory disqualification, then an amended U-4 must be filed within 10 days. So you're registered. You're a representative with a broker-dealer. Uh, you have been found guilty of a felony. That's a statutory, uh, statutorily disqualifying event. Your U-4 has to be amended within 10 days of uh, the conviction.